Hey guys, welcome back to our Road to Master Tier series. We're hanging in the back back alley of our uh, Diggle friends doing some diggity diggity dig things. Um, so we're just gonna get kind of into the battles in today's video. We have a more extensive team recap in the previous video. So go check that out if you're curious to see what we're using and why we're using it and if you want the rental code for it. I'll also include the rental code in the description below in case you're curious. But uh, one thing I will address is that yes, or the previous video, I realized the rendering after the recording wasn't that great, but I think I fixed it this time, guys. I am a professional. <laughs> Not really, but let's, but I think we fixed the problem here. So apologies for the video quality not being totally up to snuff last time. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of get into some battles here. We'll probably do two to three depending on the time and then hopefully next time we can maybe introduce a new team here. Let's get into it. All right guys, so first battle against Kira here. Let's kind of, let's just get into it. So Kira has Charizard, Ninetales, Dusclops, Rotom Wash, uh, Vileplume, and Rhyperior. So definitely a Sun team here with some other support. Maybe some trick room shenanigans going on with Dusclops. So I definitely think Dracozolt would be a good lead here. Do I go Dracozolt and Talonflame just to outspeed? Or am I expecting Trick Room to kind of lead off here? So it's a bit tricky. So instead I might do Grimmsnarl. I'm starting to rile it on. I think we're gonna go Grim Snow, Pre Marina. And if we have to max the first one just to change weather, I think that's okay. And then we'll bring Amoongus and Drakezolt in the back here. Let's just see how this goes. See dust cops, but let's see. Yep, vile plume dust cops. So, vile plume kind of walls Primarina here. Grimstall is not the biggest fan of what's going on here either. But I think we should get a light screen up. And then switch into Amoongus here, just to conserve our Primarina. I don't want to take a Grass or a Poison type move right now. So let's consider Prima Leader, Prima Arena Leader for game, and then just see what this Vile Plume wants us wants to do right now. If it's, or if we're going to just see Trick Room, or if it's going to use kind of some sport tactics here. Nope. Okay, so no attacking moves. I mean, no Trick Room. Interesting. So we're going to just, I know it's not very effective, but I want to kind of get the special defense drop here. And then let's try sporing this dust cops. Decent damage for being a resistant move, so I'm not too mad about that. Let's 
So we're going to spirit break again. And I think we go out to Dracozolt. That way we can try to get some major damage off of a Dynamax next turn. Now that Duskop is asleep, hopefully it won't wake up in this turn or next, but... Okay, so I definitely think the uh, Vileplume is Choice Scarf, just based on what we just saw. Perfect, and you're still asleep. So we're going to Thunder Wave Charizard, and then Dynamax, Max Lightning, and Dynamax, Max Whirlwind, Dust Cops here. Just for a little bit extra damage. Okay, so they definitely were probably expecting the Lightning attack or Electric attack, so I'm kind of glad we. <laughs> Didn't use both weak after all. <laughs> and I'm totally fine with that because then we get the attack drop. Next round. Okay, so we're going to Unfortunately, Android doesn't do anything, but if I ever have that, then to have Lightning Rod or Thunderbolt. So they didn't bring nine tails or okay. So Charizard's still in the back, so I don't want to go for. Let's get our reflect up first, and then let's max Quake into Dusclops. I just literally said they have Charizard in the back. <laughs> I have a feeling this thing is a weakness policy, so I don't want to attack into it right away. I'm going to be concerned for a Marina for that. At least we get the special defense raise, so it kind of helps us with file flow. So they do get special defense raise, that's a little scary. Um, but I think King Rodan should still one shot even from that range. Um, I think we Spirit Break into Vile Plume again. And then Max Morwind this Rhyperior. Okay, so we're still faster. Still faster than a choice scarf file plume, that's good. I'm assuming this thing is choice scarfed. I love that, that's fine. I want to just some spirit break into this guy again. Unfortunately, Rayquazelle is gonna go down here. Oh, you know what? We didn't. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to lift that. <laughs> I don't know why. I forgot we set up Reflect this turn. So I'm just gonna let him kind of target down Vileplume here. 
or target down, wow. Target down Dragazult. And we're going to Aerialize File Plan. That way, just take care of that thing. That way, Permira kind of comes in safe for the cleanup end game here. And hopefully, they target down. Hopefully, they targeted down uh, Drake's ult to get rid of it. Yep. So that's totally fine. Drake's ult kind of did its job here. So now, we do have Amoongus here still. So we go into Amoongus, possibly. Let's do that, actually. I don't want to bring in Primera just yet. So we're going to Spirit Break. Spirit Break and Charizard and now let's see what, I was going to say let's see what our period does but let's try to spore it. I think we should still outspeed. speed. Oh, that was kind of big. <laughs> That's totally fine. And then I think Grimstarl might live another turn. But at least we get the special attack drop on Charizard. Grimstall lives to see another day, and we are going to just set up light screen again. <laughs> and energy ball, Hyperior. Nope, no miss. <laughs> That's fine. So that's great. And Maria Marina just kind of comes in here. I don't see why uh, one or two hyper voices don't knock both of them out. So hopefully, hopefully this is game here. I wasn't necessarily feeling the best about how we started the game off, but it's kind of been a lot better now. <laughs> Hopefully no flinch shenanigans here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and we pick it up the W. <laughs> so I'm pretty satisfied with how that match went. Uh, again, like I said, I wasn't necessarily feeling the strongest about the first kind of rounds, but GG Kira. That was a great game. All right, so I think we should have time for one more battle and then wrap up the video after that. So I'll see you guys when we find our next opponent. All right, guys, next opponent, we have Royal. So Royal has Rotom Heat, Skullpede, Kingdra, Sylveon, Lilliant, and Lycanroc Dusk. So it's a very interesting team. I'm not sure if maybe the Rodon would be the setter up for weather, depending on the situation. Um, because there's no real designated weather um, setter, so very interesting. So I think what we're going to do is just kind of go Talonflame, Dracazult, with Primarina, and... I think Grimmsnarl in the back? I feel like Grimmsnarl might be nice in case Kingdra or Skullpea kind of set up with a lot of speed here. Yeah, 
we're gonna do that and just see how this goes. annoying is that I can't hit Rotom Heat with Drag Zone, really, unless we do Max Warm Winds, because it is has Levitate. I, I think we're okay. So we're going to... I honestly really want to <laughs> taunt, but I think getting Tailwind up is more important right now. So we're going to Max Quake, Lycan Rock. I know I've been Dynamaxing Regazult a lot, but it's kind of the best Pokemon to Dynamax, and especially in these scenarios, especially it also has Hustle, so its moves can miss when it's not Dynamax, so. Alright, moves quick. Maybe this thing might be Focus Sash, but we'll see. Nope, no Focus Sash, okay. I feel like a trick is about to come off here, but let's see. Will o Wisp, okay. Not too mad, Drago's ult still hits like a truck and a half, so. Not too, too concerned. Maybe Lycan Rock was, um, weakness policy? Not really sure. So. We're going to... I want to taunt? No, I think it's best to just kind of get damage off on the Sylveon. And then max... Wormwind onto this Rotom Heat. Just get damage off on it. Totally fine. This off still is <laughs> a two hit KO here. I know it raises or it drops attack only, but still needs to get a chunk off on that Rotom Heat. Alright, see so Volts have come out. We take those, we eat those for breakfast, so let's see what we can do here. I'm not too worried about the Sylveon, but let's see. Kingdra. So we are definitely going to warm one into Kingdra here. And I might just double into Kingdra because I think Kingdra is a lot more of an off 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 offensive threat for my team. So watch it protect or something funny, but I think we should be okay. I think they realized I was going to do that, so totally okay. So Primarina in the back for Kingdra, so not too much of a concern. Interesting, they really wanted to protect Sylveon in these scenarios. Which berry is that? I'll go very well. Unfortunately, you still go down, buddy. Is 
So we're gonna see King Joy come back out here. And I think we're going to Braver it into Kingdra. See if we can land a bolt beak on Sylveon. So that did almost half damage, so that's pretty good. And we do land sweet. That still does a ton of damage, oh my gosh. That's fine. And Sylvian is probably gonna finish off Dracozole here. Yep. Max is our fall. Here. Alright, so we are going to. As I think protect is the best move for now, um, I have a feeling they're gonna try to attack into Pre Marina. And then let's Thunder Wave into Kingdra here. Now, like, Hanger will not be the fastest mile on the field anymore. And, oh, I forgot about that. Well, that's fine. Mindstorm. Interesting that they changed the terrain up now. Interesting, okay. So we are going to Moonblast into Kingdra of a light screen here. I know we don't get Prankster. Oh no, we still do. It's just if we doubled into a Pokemon on the opposing side, I feel like I keep forgetting that. Oh my god, they actually got the freeze. Wow. Wow, I can't believe they actually got the freeze there. <laughs> So, try to break through, <laughs> and then let's just spirit break into Kingdra. Don't you dare, <laughs> don't you dare freeze my Grim Snarl. got frozen we would have definitely won that that is ridiculous <laughs> we're gonna try to see if we can get a unfreeze of protect here nope wow <laughs> the hacks are real in this game that is insane Shock. Okay. Yeah. That, that's a GG. I'm just gonna finish this match out, but wow. <laughs> the hacks. <laughs> and the fact that we got frozen for three turns in a row, that's incredible. <laughs> Alright guys, well we lost, but we honestly feel- I feel like we should have won that match. 
in reality, but hacks are a thing. <laughs> Can't predict that or play around that sometimes. Oh, I got a pearl string, thanks. <laughs> so, guys, I think we'll pick this up in the next video. I'm gonna try to get the next team ready so that way we can kind of switch the teams up here a bit. And then maybe play just a couple more battles in between the rounds uh, before video. So, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for hanging around and remember to stay kind and be humble. <laughs>